going to go see wolves. <laughs> it's been a while since we started an episode from the Yes House. Yeah. We're back in LA. The rest of the team is editing our Iceman documentary, our first feature length film. That's why Mars has been missing from the videos and still isn't here today. He's managing the whole process and directing this film. So, Apex the wolf sanctuary that we was able to meet wolves at for the first time at the start of the year. I was talking a bit with, with my team last night and with, with Seek Discomfort, we would like to contribute $15,000 to helping build the next uh, enclosure. <laughs> Don't make her cry because you'll make me cry. Thank you guys. That's that's a huge donation. But I, I hear you how expensive. You get your name on an enclosure. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. As most of you know, this donation would not have been possible without the support of all of you watching and your contributions to Seek Discomfort year after year. Empowering incredible humans like Steve and Paula through Seek Discomfort is a way for us to shine light on those who spend so much time doing such positive work in the shadows, rarely getting the recognition they deserve. And today we happen to also be launching a collab with an immensely talented artist, Ruben Rojas, who created the famous love mural in Venice for our exclusive Seek Love Drop out right now, only for the next couple of days. Yeah. Come on. Let's go together. And a few months after we posted the Wolf video on the Yes Theory channel, I received this text from Paula. We cannot tell you how much you have done for Apex. We are in shock by the love and support we've been given this year from your community. Since February, we've been completely overwhelmed with keeping up with Apex's growth. We had a board meeting yesterday and we were able to report that we have almost doubled our funding this year thanks to Yes Theory. If you have a few minutes to catch up, Steve and I would love to say hello. Thank you again for this incredible gift. You honestly changed our lives and have helped Apex's mission and wolves in ways you can't even imagine. And so, since we happen to be in LA right after receiving this text, it felt like an incredible, unique opportunity to be able to go back and say hi to them in person and create a follow-up story, which is what you're about to watch, which is something we rarely get to do, to be able to go revisit and see people that we've helped and how the story that we put out affected their lives. I texted them a few days ago and they said they've cleared the day for us. So we're gonna go spend the afternoon saying hi to the wolves again. And we forgot that you're not supposed to wear shorts because the wolves, or some of them, like to nibble on ankles. Yeah. It is actually crazy to think that there's just on the other side of that hill, there's about 20 wolves that a couple times a day get to run free on these hills. Wow, here we are, back with the wolves. Hey. Oh. How are you? It is hot out here. Oh my God. How are you guys doing? Hey, brother. How are you? Good, how are you? I can't believe you're here. Oh right I know, right? How's it going? It was perfect. How are you? I was like, damn, I you yeah. guys uh, cut our work out for us in the best way possible. Why? I just can't wait to tell you about it. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember, don't look at Charlotte. Oh, should I uh, oh, yeah. pound some pants? I'm going to pound some pants. I'm going to pound some pants. You guys come fast. I'm going to pound some pants. Just, just come on in. It's fine. It's fine. Charlotte, pack up. Oh, there are wolves here. <laughs> should, I, should I change it to pants? Like, can anyone hear me? <laughs> I had pants in the car. What the hell's going on? <laughs> wow, it's so good to be back here. It's the update. Good. Your community has been amazing. Just like, blew it out of the water. Just really supportive, really loving. Oh, we got a lot more monthly donors, a lot more people that want to you know, unfortunately people wanted to volunteer from all over the world and we don't have anywhere to put them. We wrote personal emails to everyone thanking them. We're, I mean, incredibly honored and humbled by like, I want to give up my life and come live with you yeah. and, and work. And, and we really love what you're doing, which was amazing. And, and he made us think that as we grow and we, you know, we're trying to buy this property right now and then the property in the back, that we would literally build, okay. you know, cabins and places yeah. for people that could do that. It, put it on the map for us to make it a goal, yeah. which is really exciting. But just the support, and I should show you guys all the 
comments that everybody has sent us of support and just uh, how much they love what we're doing and they really believe in what we're doing and um, yeah, it's been really yeah, fascinating. It was, it, it was overwhelming at first. I was going to say, it sounds overwhelming. I'm overwhelmed hearing about it. Well, you know, because Betty, Betty is really only our, our only official staff member, you know? So donor relations, I have been like hours every day making sure, I mean, whether someone donated $2, which is a big deal, up to, you know, more. I wanted to make sure everyone got a response or an email yeah. because it just means a lot to us and yeah. so it was a lot of um, dedication of time. Thank You're cool. the first people who were able to really capture the mm. essence of who we are and what mm. our mission is and what we strive to accomplish, mm. you know, and then share that with the world essentially. Mm. So yeah. it was just really, we were just so honored. Wow. Yeah. You guys became like our family, man. Before you came, I was like, oh god, we're gonna have these kids like sleep over. <laughs> he was like, yeah, like yeah, such yeah. a grumpy old man. By the time he you left, like, I was like, oh. <laughs> pack is moving. <laughs> we follow the pack. Oh wow, there's a wolf here. I forgot how huge they are. They're fucking freaking massive. Kind of forget all the rules <laughs> that we first got. <laughs> so should we go see the enclosure? Oh, that would be great. The yes theory and yeah. yeah. We want to put the banner on the back. We didn't come in here last time. From here all the way around wow. here is an expansion. Yeah, and it's a little work in progress. So it's all been done by hand. And this is a little road. Wow. And uh, she and Neo, he's hiding. He's the most shy, but they kind of became a couple. They fell in love. Really? And then when Strider came along, they, they just brought him in and he became like their pup. Your new home, Tommy. I'm gonna leave you here. There's air conditioning, $400 air conditioning. Wow. And uh, it's more expensive than you're gonna have to share it with Sarge. And so uh, cool in there. It's like way cooler <laughs> than our house. Hey. See, it's just tall enough for you. <laughs> Hi, Riggs. Oh. Oh. Can you tell that he's a lot wider even since you saw him? Last? Yeah. This is not really normal for a, a full wolf to be so social, but he is, he loves people. I don't, I don't know why they feel bigger than last time. I don't know why, I think <laughs> in my mind, it's like, <laughs> full cuddle mode. Hi. This never becomes normal to me. Hi. <laughs> Wanna come get some kisses? I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. It's <laughs> my maybe the burrito I had earlier. <laughs> that text was so sweet. I sent it to our whole team, and yeah. everyone was really touched because you know our editors don't get to always come join all the adventures, but they get super emotionally involved because they watch the footage over and over and over and over, and they're the ones that took the footage from I don't know how many hours of footage we came back with to you know the 20 minutes that we ended up publishing, just for them to see the impact that you know what the work that they're doing. And the monthly donors goes is amazing because it's reoccurring revenue for you guys, right? <laughs> which, Lots of which people countries? from the Netherlands. <laughs> really? Lots of people from the Netherlands. That's so random. Mm -hmm. Wow. And oh, uh, shout out to the Netherlands, I guess. Netherlands. <laughs> Lots of people from Germany, um, Norway, Sweden, Switzerland. And lots of Australians, lots of New Zealand, mm. lots of British. It's but really all over the world. Yeah. Oh. So thanks for blocking out your entire day for us. Yeah, it's very sweet. Yeah. yeah. This is so thanks good. for changing our lives. <laughs> it's changing ours. <laughs> like, the way that I see it is like I think we have the ability to be messengers to pointing the light in the right direction and as soon as we met you we knew like this is like we're in the right place. We're in the right place. Yeah. It's pretty special. Yeah, so. Pretty special. We love you guys. Yeah, so. love you too. The best part that we only found out when we went to visit them was that the contribution that we did wasn't where the help from the Yes Theory community stopped. In fact, They've received hundreds of monthly donors from all around the world, helping them increase their budget in ways they never predicted. So 
Just wanted to say thank you because it's not easy to put out meaningful stories on YouTube. I feel like it's the easier clickbait type of stories that are super fast paced that get most of the attention. But to be able to put out something that people listen to, connect with, and decide to go out of their way to support these people, I think is something immeasurable. At the end of the day, what makes it all feel worth it are the moments where we feel like the attention that we are given is able to be redirected towards those who deserve it the most. And I feel like Steve and Paula are two of those people that are absolute godsend angels doing incredible work that has impact that very few people actually see. It is the lives of these wolves that are saved and without them, those wolves would not be alive today. Thank you for watching these stories. Thank you for supporting us and thank you for supporting people like Steve and Paula. As a final reminder, there is the Seek Love Artist Collab drop out right now. Check it out, It's the clothing is incredible. I cannot wait to get my own. I'm out here in Paris now and I could not get my hands on it before I left. Very sad, so definitely check this collection out. I think it's incredible and I will see you on the next one.